Okay, so I just have a test scene in here, just a free asset pack that I downloaded. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is select um, the camera anywhere in your scene and let's add a plane as a child, okay? So add the plane, let's set its rotation to minus 90 and move it slightly out in front of your camera, okay? Just so it blocks the view like this. So if I was to maximize this, you can see that that plane is completely blocking the view, okay? So um, you just take the collider off that because it doesn't matter and we don't need it to cast shadows, turn that off and we don't need it to receive shadows either. Okay, so let's um, create a material. Material, let's just call this black. And let's make it black. And just change this here to be transparent, okay? Because we want to be able to fade this material. So then just drag this onto your plane. You can either drag and drop it here, or you can drag and drop it on the, on the word plane up here. Okay, so if we were to have a quick look at this when we maximize, we see that kind of blocks our view, okay? So, um, on the plane, let's add a script and let's just call it fade script. Let's just open that up. And this is going to be the script that actually causes um, causes the plane to fade out and go see-through, go transparent. So um, we're actually going to download a package that does this. Okay, so this is a package I told you about earlier called DoTween. So go on to the asset store. Search for Dootween here, and you can just get the free one, okay? So Dootween um, version two, it's free. Select that, go import. Okay, so when this imports, it's gonna come up with, um, there'll be a little pop-up that asks you to do some setup. I'm just going to click yes to all that when it pops up. Okay, so this comes up, just click open do between utility panel and just click and um, this green button here, set up do between. And then that's fine, you can leave that off then, okay? Once that actually takes a second. And um, we'll write the script anyway then while we're doing that. So let's go back into the script. Let's type using and then do dg dot tweening because this is this is the library that we've just imported. OK, so now let's create um, a function down here. Let's call it void fade um, let's call it fade plane because we're fading the plane. Actually, let's call it fade. OK, and we're just going to call that from the start function. It's going to call fade and in here. What we want to do is we're actually going to oops, that's ready now so we just click apply click this off if we go back to the scene what we're actually going to do is fade the material okay so if we do it manually here select the plane go to the material here what we're actually going to do is we're going to fade this in like that so if i move this out of the way move this over here we're actually going to fade the material like that and that's how we're going to do this fade effect so what we want to do is this is the material on the plane okay and we can access that here through the mesh renderer so if we go back to the script we're just going to say get component mesh renderer because if we look here at the mesh renderer that's where our material is we have it in here so we can just say dot material and then this is the function that we want to call this do fade this is part of this library here. So we can just say do fade, and then we have to tell it the alpha value that we want and the time we want, how long we want it to take the duration. So what we're saying here is we want to fade the alpha value to zero over the course of five seconds. So what that's going to do is it's going to go in here, this compiles, and it's going to, it's going to fade from here, from 255, it's going to fade this the whole way down to zero over five seconds. Okay, so if I just save this now, and if I was to just press play now, I won't maximize it just so we can see. You can see that it fades out over five seconds. Okay, so that's the first half done. So now what we want to just do is create a canvas. So we'll create a canvas, and on the canvas, we're just going to add a UI element for text. Okay, you can kind of see that here. 
So let's just make that text white. And let's just say, and so it begins dot dot dot. focus on I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger I'm just going to center it and now we go back into our script and let's just fade the text as well so let's create a public text that's not going to work because first I have to do unity engine dot UI and now I can create a public text and let's just call this intro text and then in the fade method let's also just do intro text dot do fade and we'll do the exact same thing we'll just set that to we want that to be fully transparent and let's also do that over five seconds and we'll just go back in here I'm just wait for this to compile and then if we select our plane again now we'll see that it wants a text the public text object so let's just drag that on here and now if we press well, let's maximize it and then press play And there it fades off after five seconds.